Hello. I want to teach you a new thing today. Creating placeholder with text box and combo boxes. If you check the screen very well, you discover that I don't really have labels beside my text box and my combo boxes. As you can see in these areas, you discover that you see this, you don't have, you see, search contact and zip codes. You can see here, group, you can see here, state. Just the same way, let's assume you are creating a contact form and uh, you don't have the labels beside it. The example is a new, a new form, uh, a new record where you have, instead of the first name, just being beside it and you just have it in a placeholder which is the default text that you see in the box when you click on it it just automatically disappears I, I i found this very very useful whenever i'm working using my database uh or developing a database sorry for that anytime i'm developing my databases so let's just get started don't forget to subscribe to this channel it is very very important that we grow please help us to grow okay uh, I will right click and go to design mode as you can see this is the I just double click on this text box you can see here I go to the format area so this is just a little trick if I right click on this and say zip and say zoom you see this here so this is just the trick so what I wrote here is uh, search contact and zip so I will teach you a trick on how this works okay you see this uh, let me save that out I think it's supposed to disappear so let me close that and reopen it okay it's still showing so let me check why it's still showing normally it's supposed to leave there okay it's still there so let me delete that out okay so open again it's empty now so now let's get started with that i click on or double click on uh, the actual text box or the combo box you want to use go to the property sheet for that particular control which is the text box go to format tab which is this then you can right click on it and say zoom and then simply type let me make it big a little uh, make the font big like 16 okay so here i just type at then my semicolon and then my quotation so within the quotes within the string quotes i just type in i say search so whether in small or big letter so i can just simply dot 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 so click on okay so it depends on what i want to write there i can simply write it there okay so there you go you can see it now search so when i click on it it just disappears then i can just search uh, 11 or let me just type for aaron okay so search it right now sorry the records are very many so it's going to be slow a little uh that depends on your pc so that is that and uh, the same thing goes for group the same thing goes for state so let's check them out and see what i did there you see that now there's something that's uh, something else so that's special here that i will still teach you how to do right away and that is the color that is going to show there so i still go back to that format uh, and uh, zoom then in the square bracket i think by default what we have is just the primary colors that is what i have been able to try correctly and it has to be typed in the standard format you can just type blue or green or uh i tried gray but it doesn't work so green blue and i think uh let's use no let's use the uh, green or let's just use red so when you click on okay so what we have there now is red 
see that so whatever you type there let's see Aaron you see now is going to be in red so that is how it works so the the this is going to be for the text that you type in the color is going to be the text but not literally uh, uh, overriding not literally overriding the the actual text property that is there is just temporary so that is why you have it outside the the parenthesis uh sorry after the the quotation marks so that is it here so that is how you do it it's very very simple so try it out and uh it will work for you and if it doesn't work for you let me know remember it is the art symbol art symbol the semicolon and then in your double uh quotation enter it one and second in between then you enter whatever parameter you want to enter within sorry you can use any text of your choice just to display to people or to the user that this is what we're expecting here so all you can actually enter an, ex an example there it all depends on you so don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have more questions please ask and i'll be available to answer you god bless you